they need something to do. If they retire and sit home, they're apt to fade away. They need to go out and see people and, as far as I'm concerned, to be helpful. That is longtime Red Cross volunteer Betty Grenig. When we first introduced you to her five years ago, she passed away in April at the age of 101 after volunteering with the Red Cross, get this, for more than 80 years. No matter where she lived all across the world and across the United States, she found a way to give back. Betty was also a proud blood donor herself, donating more than 25 wow. gallons of blood over the years. And today would have been her 102nd birthday. So to honor her legacy, the Red Cross in Phoenix and Tucson are hosting blood drives to see who can give the mm -hmm. most donations. So Kylie is at the one in Phoenix <laughs> with a look at Betty's legacy. So good morning, Kylie. Good morning. Her legacy continues to live on. I remember meeting her about four and a half years ago. We did the story right here, and her desk remains the same. They have left it empty. They have all the pictures up and the flag honoring Miss Betty's work. She would have been 102 today. She volunteered for 84 years with the American Red Cross, the longest-serving volunteer in their history, and she was certainly a lovely person and an inspiration. So Roxanne is somebody that knew her well in her later years. Roxanne, you also volunteered with Betty. What was she like? Betty was such a fascinating person. She, in my opinion, is an icon. She uh, was soft-spoken. She was gentle, but very opinionated. She reminded me of my grandma Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I remember that there was two things that were really important to her. One was volunteering, and that came from her mother. When she was 17, her mom asked her to go down to the Red Cross and knit socks for the soldiers, and she did. And that was the start of her long history with the Red Cross. She traveled around the world with her husband, who was in the Army. The other thing that was even more dear to her was donating blood. And Betty would say, "If you, you can donate a million dollars, but if you donate blood, you can save a life. And you guys are donating blood today. The Red Cross putting together this big blood drive in honor of her. What do you think she'd think of this event for uh, other people, but to remember her? She was really a humble person, so she would probably try to cast off that it was anything about her. In her mind, I'm sure it was something that was just about donating blood and saving lives. What do you think when you come back here? I know that her desk is still kind of how it was, right? All the pictures. When you walk by, do you always kind of smile and, and you know, share a happy memory or thought? Yes. And her last year, she would come in uh, on Thursdays and she would stuff uh, packets for people that were affected by fires and floods. They would go to the disaster teams. And she was still volunteering up until the very end? Uh, until she couldn't volunteer anymore to the very end. Wow. What's the one thing you want people to remember about her? Obviously, they may not have met her before, but how can her legacy kind of live on in all of us? She felt everyone should volunteer. And even if you don't think you have time, she said you have to make time. And she got that from her mom. And I hope that that's carried on, and I hope that the desire to donate blood also carries on. Roxanne, we appreciate it. Roxanne's been here for almost 40 years volunteering. Uh, she put this uh, beautiful little um, thing together, this framed um, article as well. So certainly, Betty has a lot of love here, a lot of people remembering her very fondly today on what would have been her 102nd birthday. And coming up, guys, in the 9 o'clock hour, the blood drive, I can hear them. They just started. They're getting ready. So we're going to take you to the blood drive and talk a little bit about how the blood drive is going. And people um, will chat with them who are getting ready to donate. Yeah, what a great lady. What an inspiration, right? Yeah, for sure. Thank Thanks, you very Kelly. much, Kyle.